Fairport Harbor police are looking into multiple hit and run crashes that happened during the 4th of July celebration in Fairport Harbor. They say the same driver is responsible for all of those crashes. The now's Jennifer Awe is there right now speaking with neighbors. Well, the neighbors here say they were having a wonderful time during their 4th of July celebrations, enjoying the beautiful view of the lake and enjoying the fireworks. However, things took a drastic turn when an erratic driver plowed through the area. This was the scene at the beachfront Mardi Gras in Fairport, all in celebration for 4th of July. Then, after the fireworks, chaos ensues. People being hysterical, I mean, because they realized how close they had come to being hurt or even killed. Neighbors say they saw a driver in a white truck swerve through 2nd and Vine Streets, hitting one of the parked cars on the street. The driver drove off and crashed into more cars near Scott McCoon's house on 5th and Eagle Street. You see uh, the path of the car, it came here and there was people sitting on that step. A close call. Neighbors and police telling me the driver then got out of his car and ran away. He uh, had apparently jumped out of the window because the car was so close to the house went through my porch and jumped over the fence with the police in hot pursuit. Other neighbors who witnessed the incident saying they were concerned about the young ones. Especially because we had a lot of kids, you know, playing cornhole and I have grandchildren here. I had three grandchildren here. With everybody walking down these sidewalks to get to their cars after the fireworks, it could have been so much worse. Scott says residents were consoling each other the whole time, making sure everyone was all right. That's what Fairport's all about still taking care of one another. Two people were taken to the hospital, but Scott says they thankfully only had minor injuries. Police say they do have a suspect, but this is an ongoing investigation, so they're not releasing any more details. You can stay tuned to News 5 for updates. In Fairport Harbor, I'm Jennifer Ah, reporting for The Now Cleveland.